They call it the Lenovo Legion Pro 5. And in this video, let's unbox it. Now, this is the model with the Ryzen 7 7745HX and the RTX 4070. So I will be doing a head-to-head -head review between this model that I've been currently reviewing, and I'm excited to see which one comes out on top. Is Ryzen 7000 the way to go, or is Intel 13th gen the way to go? Now, I'm guessing we're gonna see some very strong similarities between the Pro 5i and the Pro 5, but for the sake of the channel, getting your questions answered, I always love to unbox anything that comes in because I'm usually caught by surprise by one or two things as I'm going through an unboxing. Now we do have the 300 watt charger block and here is the laptop before us. Not as fancy of packaging as the Asus series laptops. Asus Zephyrus, the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow, X13, X16, they have really fun, fancy packaging. A lot of people say, I don't care about the packaging, Ben. I'm just gonna, throw it away anyway, but I think it's pretty cool to have some neat packaging. Legion does a decent job, but it's not like blow your socks off. So here is the laptop. Gonna go ahead and throw the weight and thickness up on the screen now. As you can see on the side panel, we have a USB type A, USB type C, and on the right side panel, we have a USB type A, headphone jack, and the manual cutoff switch for the webcam. And then we have one USB type C on the back, and two USB type A's here on the back, as well as an HDMI network port and your power adapter. Now, one thing I said on the Legion Pro 5i is I wish they ditched one of the USB type A's for a USB type C. So we would have three and three. I think that would be very uh, equally minded when it comes to equipping this laptop with ports. Over the past few years, my wife has had her personal information stolen and accounts open without her approval. A while back, we found some of these accounts and took action to eliminate these issues. That's why I'm excited to tell you about today's sponsor, Aura. We've been using Aura to monitor our personal information online for over a year now and have been able to reclaim control of our personal data. Aura will identify data brokers that are exposing your information and automatically submit opt-out request on your behalf. Anyone can find anything on the internet, including your full legal name, your personal email, your home address, phone number, and even your relatives. This information is accessible because of data brokers who profit by selling your information to robocallers, telemarketers, spammers, and anyone else that wants to learn more about you. Aura will even opt you out of junk mail and telemarketing lists. You can use my link by going to aura.com slash Kaiser to try a two-week free trial to see how many data brokers are sharing your information. Aura's app also features a VPN, password manager, real-time credit and identity theft monitor, internet parental controls, and protects your devices from malware. Aura has almost every internet safety tool you'll ever need all inside one app. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online. If you sign up right now, Aura will give you a two week free trial with my link in the video description. You'll be shocked at how much of your private information Aura finds exposed over those two weeks. It's quite frightening actually. Aura.com slash Benji Kaiser or scan the QR code on the screen right now. I think you'll be very happy with the protection that you receive and the level of comfort that you get by using Aura. We have been extremely happy using it for over a year and I definitely recommend it. Now let's go on ahead and check out the build and assembly of this one. Again, very nicely assembled bottom cover into the side panel. Lenovo does a great job assembling these laptops. I'm really excited to get my hands on the lock, the LOQ series from Lenovo. Lenovo Legion, uh, just to see the build quality differences between this laptop and that. Like, you know, kind of what we have here now is we have the Legion Lock, the Legion 7 Slim, the Legion Pro 5, and then the Legion Pro 7, and each one gets substantially better build materials, uh, more performance, etc. Now, as I mentioned in the 5i review, we have an aluminum top cover, and then we have a plastic keyboard deck and a plastic bottom cover. Now, if you want the full aluminum keyboard deck and aluminum bottom cover, you should go with the Legion Pro 7 series. That's where you get the upgraded materials on the keyboard deck and bottom cover. But the build quality is good. We have a nice tap test on the top cover as well as Top cover does good, bottom cover gets that rattly plastic sound, but much better build materials than something like an Acer Predator Helios. 
recently I reviewed one of those and I thought, how disappointing. I feel like they haven't upgraded that laptop in years. I don't get that feeling with this build material, the plastic here, but it is a little rattly. So take it for what it is. All right, let's go on ahead and open the laptop with one hand, check out the open and close. Of course, this is quite a weighty laptop, so it's easy to open and close with one hand. I'm going to go ahead and check out the screen flex really quickly. Not a ton of screen flex, definitely a little bit for a 16 inch laptop. Now, we have the nice ledge here along the back, classic Legion style. Take it for what it is, some people love it, some people hate it. I've got kind of mixed reviews on it myself. Now, as we go ahead and look at the interior of the laptop, very reminiscent of the Legion 5 Pro. You have the numpad on the right side. You have your trackpad centered on the keyboard and not the keyboard deck. Personally, I want a center trackpad on the whole keyboard deck, but it does make sense why they would center it here from just a design standpoint, uh, but it's just not my overall preference. Now, going ahead and looking at the keys, they're slightly different from last year. They feel a little softer than the touch and they have a little bit of a quieter click. Um, so the typing experience is a little bit quieter, snaps back still nice and strong so you get a good receptivity of the keys. Now the trackpad, I wish they made it bigger. Look how much room there is to make that bigger and they just didn't make it bigger. And that really frustrates me because for creators, I know this is a gaming laptop, but a lot of creators find a lot of benefits out of this laptop for creators a larger trackpad would be nicer on the go. Of course, you could pick up a mouse. I'm no idiot. I know you could buy a mouse. People comment below like I've never heard of a mouse. Like you can buy a mouse, Ben. I know you can buy a mouse, but it's a laptop. And I wanna say that if you want the best on the go experience, having a nice large trackpad from, from a creator standpoint would make this laptop even better. I'm not saying it's not a great laptop. I'm saying that that would make it even better. For instance, you have the Asus Republic of Gamer Flow X16, and that has a nice large trackpad. Makes for a great gaming laptop, and more importantly, because I talk to creative professionals on my channel, a great creator laptop, which negates the need to always bring along a mouse. People in their silly comments. All right, next up, we're gonna go ahead and look at the Lenovo Vantage Center. Now, for the Pro 5i, if I say 5i Pro or whatever, it's just because I'm still learning, um, you have access to hybrid mode, hybrid IGPU mode, hybrid auto mode, okay? That's really great. That's something that was not on the Legion 7 Pro, of last year. So all the Legion models so far that I've reviewed come with the GPU working mode, which gives you good customization of the GPU, turning it on, turning it off, allowing it to auto, or you have more control. So it's really nice to see that. Now, my big question is, this is now Ryzen 7000 series. Are we gonna have better battery life from Intel 13th gen or Ryzen 7000? So far for my test, Intel 13th gen kind of disappointed me. We didn't get any better battery life from Intel 13th gen for the Legion series laptop. So I'm curious if Ryzen is gonna give us a nice bump in battery life for these Legion series. That would be a reason that I would choose Ryzen over Intel is if we can get better battery life out of these systems because we're gonna see pretty similar performance. If not maybe a little advantage from Ryzen 7000 because it seems like it's a bigger step in the generation. Now, if you're curious about the exact pricing and availability of the Legion Pro 5, you can head down in the description below and click those links. If you do make a purchase, I'll get a small commission, but at no extra cost to you. But of course, that's what keeps this channel alive and the helpful content coming your way. And I have a lot of children and they eat a lot of food. So it's very helpful when you all use those links. Next thing I want to do is flip over the laptop, check out the upgrade path to see if it has the right upgrade path for you. So as we pull off the bottom cover of the Lenovo Legion Pro 5, you can see we have a 78 watt hour battery, two M.2 slots, one occupied, one unoccupied, and then of course our RAM sticks. Now in this laptop, we have two eight gig RAM sticks, giving this a 16 gig setup. Now I'm recently started to test 8K footage. And what I found so far is that 8K footage really requires 32 gigs of RAM in this system. So I think I'm gonna be doing some swap in here to go ahead and upgrade to 32 to run the 8K test. So it should be cool to see what kind of results we get once we have those upgrades. But this new RTX 40 series and Ryzen 7000, I'm excited to see what we're gonna have going on as far as performance is concerned. Now definitely go ahead and subscribe and ring the bell. We just passed 100,000 subscribers, but let's keep going because we're so close to a million, right? <laughs> totally kidding. But you don't wanna miss out on the videos that are coming out. So you gotta subscribe and ring the bell or Tell a friend or do something. Anyway, links in the description if you're ready to make a purchase. Likes of this video has brought you some value. And of course, click or tap the screen here for the next videos. I'll see you in the next one.